okay guys thanks for checking in this is a video about how to connect your sapphire pro 40 to your focus right 18i 20 second gen and uh through a dot or light pipe um however this might be a useful video for anybody wanting to connect their two interfaces using a dot however this is this video is specific to uh, an old sapphire pro 40 and a second gen 18i 20 both focus straight right off the bat i'm gonna tell you that um usb 2.0 can only uh, uh use uh, thir uh 16 channels altogether using 44.1 kilohertz or 48,000 kilohertz using uh, USB 2.0 so that's the downside of this technology it can only the bandwidth is only for 16 channels I think up to up to 16 channels so you cannot connect three audio interfaces let's say another eight 24 interfaces to get uh, channels three interfaces you can do that only 16 channels at 44.1 kilohertz or 48,000 kilohertz okay so sapphire the uh, fire sapphire pro 40 uses firewire 400 so first you should have a pci card to install and adjust the sapphire Pro 40. I'm using a Windows XP computer, a really old one, and it is it has a PCIe card slot. PCI or PCI card slot. So first, we're gonna install that. So this is the um, PCI card that I bought over in Lazada. Maybe you can have it. Some I can buy it, sort it somewhere else. So I put this in the PCI slot like there. You should secure secure it properly. Push it in and so that the pins will connect and that the device manager in Windows XP in this PC will recognize it. Right there. And then um, you should also open up the old your old PC in this case the Windows XP PC and find the uh, Sapphire control uh, version of this one here right there 3.4 and the driver details download it and install so it can understand the Sapphire PCI card now it's time to uh, install uh, connect the Firewire 400 cable to the PC so we are still adjusting the slave interface with which is the Sapphire Pro 40 I'm now connecting it to the PC the win with the Windows XP there you go that is the Firewire 400 cable connected to the PC now simply just turn on the PC if you haven't yet uh, but you should you should install the driver first before uh, connecting them here you go this is now the desktop uh, we are now going to configure the sapphire pro 40 using the windows xp old pc so this is the active it active led light if it turns on when you turn on the sapphire sapphire pro 40 it means there's a firewire link there you go so it's active the fire firewire is is active so it's it's being read by the when the pc open up the sapphire control ui and here you go this is the sapphire control driver uh, interface so take a look at first you take a look at the analog to a dot routing options there here edit a dot a dot one to eight I've actually pre done this so it's already set up but maybe not in your case 
first route the analog input of the Sapphire Pro, uh, Pro 40 it will go to a dot so yeah, analog 1 will go to a dot 1 analog 2 will go to a dot 2 analog 3 there will go to uh, a dot 3 correspondingly there you go analog 4 will go to a dot 4 there you go so 4 and 4 5 a, uh, analog 5 analog 5 will go to uh, a dot output 5 also 6 7 the same so we are just basically routing all the 8 analog inputs of the sapphire pro 40 to a dot it will route to a dot which we will connect later on so there you go i've connected all the analog inputs i've routed all the analog inputs to a dot one to eight now you should go and check the sample rate you can choose 44.1 or 48,000, but not beyond that I chose 48 because I'm gonna make a video um, I make videos with this so it's okay and then sync should be internal internal so not a that internal sync so we're gonna sync from the slave which is the sapphire pro 40 now go to file go to file and save to hardware it's gonna be saved to the firmware of the sapphire pro 40 so you won't need to connect or open it with a firewire anymore it's when you turn it on the settings will be saved there you don't need to alter them okay close the sapphire control and turn off the sapphire pro 40 disconnect the firewire uh, cable from on both ends and you can turn off the uh, Windows XP old computer or whatever you're using there uh, disconnect it disconnect the firewire 400 cable okay there you go now it's time to uh, connect via light pipe or a dot cable the two interfaces so I'm going to connect the uh, sapphire pro 40 out a dot out to the focus right 18 i20 a dot in some people are confused with this it's actually we're syncing to the slaves that's why a dot out to a dot in that's it. so sapphire pro 40 out Focus right in 18i20 in. Again, Sapphire Pro 40 out and focus right in optical in. Okay, now you can connect now uh, the USB 2.0 cable of the master focus right 18i20. And the power source so now we're gonna connect the Focusrite 18 i20 to your PC laptop okay here I'm using a laptop sorry so I'm not using any PC connect the Focusrite 18i20 cable USB to your PC. Use a USB 2.0, not a 3.0 port in your PC or laptop, not a 3.0 because it will have confusion. So this is very, uh, you should be careful with this. Turn on the Sapphire Pro 40 first. Sapphire Pro 40 first to have that uh, sync and then turn on the Focusrite 18 i20 you should do this in this method always not uh, the slave should run first than the master Focusrite 
there you go. So we're gonna change now the sinking of uh, in my in the focus right control. So it's going to be synced in a dot now, not internal a dot sync. There you go. With the same sample rate we used, which is forty eight thousand kilohertz. There, sync clock is synced, meaning it is now. Uh, syncing to the master clock in the Sapphire Pro 40. Okay, so th that's all set. Now we can use it now. Let's open Reaper and try out using all 16 channels. Again, I'm gonna emphasize to always turn on the slave, the focus right Sapphire Pro 40 first, and and then the focus right 18i20 slave on first, right after. So at this part, we're going to use all of the inputs from input one to 8.8. .8. Because uh, there you go, analogs from analog inputs from the focus right 18i20 to analog to the A.128 I'm gonna try adding inputs now so these are 1 to 8 analog inputs from Focusrite 18i20 I'm just adding the natural uh, 8 inputs from the Focusrite 18i20 There you go 7 okay. So we added 8 analog inputs from the Focusrite 18i20 Now There we're going to add now the ADAT routed inputs from the Sapphire Pro 40. So add a track, set the input to ADAT1 for input 1, yes. Uh, ADAT2 for input analog input of coming from the Sapphire, Fo uh, Sapphire Pro 40. Add a two, a dot three, a dot four, and so and so forth. So, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do support my channel. And if you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I hope this is useful for you, guys. Subscribe, subscribe. Thank you very much. Now I have I have 16 channels now for both interfaces. There you go. Thank you so much. Bye bye.